Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to style text inputs as form controls. You can add FA paper plane. Okay, uh, font awesome icon by adding this. Uh, here we go. It's just the same icon we've been working with the whole time, the paper plane, within your submit button element. Give your forms text input field a class of form control. Give your forms submit button the classes button, button primary. Also, give this button to the font awesome icon. Also, give this button the font awesome icon of FA paper plane. So this guy. All textual input, text area, and select elements with the class form control have a width of 100%. Okay, great. So I'm just, this is just basically a checklist. So first off, we want to give our forms text input a field class of form control. So the first thing we've got to do is come down here and find the form. So here's the form. I'm going to separate it with some spaces so I can see where it begins and where it ends. Um, okay, I want to sp space this out so we have some more space. Okay, again, I'm just going to do some spacing because I like to be able to read the code that I'm writing. Uh, we've got our button here, we've got an input, here we've got our divs. Oh, I'd have to go through and redo it. The, the code has actually gone back. Anyways, there's our first row, this is our second row, and here's our form. So the first thing that we want to do is give uh, your form's text input. Which one's that? Text here. We want to give that a field, a class of form control. Okay, so their text input's here, and we want to call it class is equal to uh, form control. Cool. Now look at that. It filled the, it's filled the page. So there it was at, without the class. Here it is without the class. It's this uh, just um, maybe a little bit wide one that's not responsive. And then if we put form control in there, then it's that wide and it is responsive. So that's pretty cool. Um, give your form submit button the class of button button primary. Because we remember the submit button I mean, that doesn't look amazing, right? So if we add to the class and we make a button and button primary, then it becomes this cool blue button. And I would go button block as well, just because I think that looks better. Um, okay, cool. And also give this, this button the font awesome uh, icon. And it, it shows you how to write this here. Um, and then within the button, uh, let's see, all of our other buttons have the icon in front, so I'm going to put ours in front. So we're going to say I, and then we're going to go class is equal to font awesome, uh, font awesome, paper, uh, plane. This needs to be a space, not that. And then we close I. Cool. And then we should have a little icon. There we go. Our little paper plane is in front of the submit button. Uh, with these, you can use span as well. The uh, HTML doesn't make a difference, so it's up to you how to do that. And then let's see, what else do we need to do? The submit button in the form should have the class button and button primary. You should add a um, air paper airplane within the button. We've done that. The text input of your form sh should have form control. And then our text input is form control. And so that should be good. Each of your I elements should have a closing tag. This probably actually won't fit fast because I'm using spans. So I want to put this back to I. And we run the tests and it passes. Okay, great. So yeah, basically what this is just showing you is that you can use Bootstrap to, oh, you know, I'm just going to remove this because it's not actually necessary. That's just the way I think that that looks better with the button being the same size, but it doesn't, it's not required. So this is actually what they're looking for to have you do. And so, yeah, I mean, Bootstrap can take care of this stuff and it makes your forms look really pro. Uh, I really like Bootstrap. So this is, uh, I think that this is a really useful thing to, to know how to uh, style forms when, with, when you're using Bootstrap. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next lesson.